Hello, this is a Jayla Shark and Friends and Russell mm, and Russell podcast. And on today's show, we're talking to Lyndon Phillips. Now, not only does Lyndon know about property, he also knows about fish, but he might get into trouble with his girlfriend. Mm. Hopefully, she's not listening. But if you are listening, beer, it wasn't me, it was all Lyndon. Enjoy the show. Uh, so, okay, welcome to the podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you very, Thank much, you for very much for having me. That's are all right. We, are we recording? Yeah, I'm on. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry. I'm just <laughs> in the middle really of sending on. a text. That's it. Uh, hello, welcome, Lyndon. Thank you. Thank you for Lyndon Philip. This is Lyndon. Hi, Russell Lyndon. Lyndon, hello, Lyndon Russell. Russell. Oh, nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm very fine, and you? I'm liking the deck shirt. That's Thank you very much. One it's, very, it's, very, um, it's, it's your just, Friday it's shirt. Cat. It's just a little something I threw on this morning. <laughs> are you, have you ordered anything to eat or drink yet? No, I haven't. Are we? Are you eating? Uh, I am going to order something, yeah. This is going to be a very slurpy one, isn't it? With the coffee. It's going, it's going to be a weird one, isn't it? I can feel that. My, I think I'll have two eggs, which is what I don't have at the moment. Where's that going, you see? Um, scrambled. I feel really low. These yeah, well, you put me in a high chair, you yeah. see? <laughs> like, <laughs> like a big baby, rapport. I was going to say. Uh, and these, um, did, did you mention where we were? I might have missed that. No, we haven't. I haven't mentioned anything about, oh, hello, well. everybody. For, thanks for listening. We're in Bake in Chantelay. We are, we are indeed, just down the road from Peppers, where we were for the last podcast. Absolutely, but we have been to Central this morning. Well, <laughs> Should I we think, explain what's going on? Well, I, I wish you would. That would be a change, okay. wouldn't it? Cool. Oh, yeah, no. All right, so basically we had a uh, guest line, not saying we don't want you, right? Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. here we go. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is the why. You're, you're not second choice, because you were always on our list of people to speak to. It just so mm. happened that the person who was meant to speak to today at Central um, got a little bit flustered and couldn't meet us. Oh, right. So we then came here, and on the way here, I thought, you oh. You bumped up the, the pecking order. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, so we bummed wow. you up the pecking order. Is that because of our personal relationship? I think so. I think so, yeah. We got and the, and the fact that you were free. And you were close. walking back to the office. And you were, yeah. you were close by bake, because <laughs> Russell's got a meeting here at 1.30 with yeah. some dog dude. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, fine. What time are we now, then? Oh, we've got loads of time. Don't worry oh, about that, Lyndon. Don't worry Lyndon. About that. Lyndon yes. Phillips. Yes. Tell us about you. Who are you? Who am I? Yes. I'm Lyndon Phillips. You probably <laughs> know that. Ex- that's the ex- <laughs> existential question. <laughs> you introduced me. I did. Uh, do you want to know how long I've been on the island? And things oh, well, like no, it doesn't matter. Yeah. How long have you been on the island? Oh, there you go. That's a very good question. I've been <laughs> here now for nearly 15 years, I oh, think. Right. Yes, just after the, the big wave. Yeah, yeah. Came okay, in. so I came June 2005, so obviously oh, around okay. the same sort of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, very much so. And so what, I. Yeah. So I was going to say, what, what brought you to the sunny island of Phuket? Uh, I came to Phuket uh, because my, my brother had bought a, re- a high-end real estate franchise called mm-hmm. Engel & Volkers. Oh, yeah. And um, he was in a corporate world in Singapore, decided to get out of that and do something different, which was very different. Where were you at the time? Where was I at the time? Yeah. You don't have to repeat every question that we ask you. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Never. Every, every question that I ask? Quite you? possibly. Okay. Yes. Um, could be a long podcast. It could be a long podcast. Did you order a coffee? No, not yet. <laughs> I want to get this question there. <laughs> <first of all. laughs> I was in the UK. Uh, Doing what? At that moment. Um, I was working for myself. Uh, and I was selling uh, healthcare products. Okay. Yes. Fighting I was like subcontracting. Or? Yes. And before that, I was in financial services. <laughs> so you always spit the dog. Yes. And Bob Hargreaves. That's yeah, Bob one. Carol Jeeves. Carol Jeeves. That's yeah. it. That's I'm old it. enough to remember. <laughs> yeah. So, so that, that was it. So I came over, and uh, we we set up the company. We started from a uh, a twin room. In uh, Surin, the, the Surin Bay Inn. Oh wow, crikey! Yeah. Back in that the day. Was it. Back in the day. And I remember flying out because I'd never been to Phuket or Thailand before. And I was flying in from Singapore early evening, and it was just getting all dusky and everything else. And by that time, in May June time, mm-hmm. it was all a little bit uh, monsoony, yeah. right? 
and I remember coming in and there's this it was there was this cloud a line of cloud that looked like it was probably 15 foot above the sea level <laughs> yeah. and all these uh, monoliths and, and limestone crags coming out of the sea it looked, out. Yeah, it looked yeah it looked just like Jurassic Park. <laughs> it was incredible. Absolutely amazing, yeah. Lyndon, I've, I've sneakily just ordered a coffee. The ladies here, would you like to have something I'd from like Bacon Shirtley? A flat white, please. A flat white? What's a flat white? Well, technically speaking, a flat white is just a, a coffee with milk, but the coffee, the milk hasn't been frothed up. It should just be warm milk. So it's just a coffee with milk? Basically, yes. Okay. Yeah. But it sounds fancy if you say flat white. Fair enough. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, wasn't, with the shirt. I wasn't listening to your flying in and dusky thing, so I was too busy ordering coffees. Yeah. But you can no, listen back to the like... podcast. Yes, you'll, you'll I can. Today. You can listen on iTunes and Spotify and SoundCloud and CastBox. And, and download to your podcast provider. Yes. If you subscribe. And if you're going to subscribe, just give us a like. You and... listened to one of our podcasts, didn't you? Yeah, I did the other day. Just yesterday, actually. Thank you very I much. I was amazed with the amount of swearing. <laughs> and there's none so far. Well, no, I'm, don't I'm say do that. Yeah, I'm no, doing really well. Don't. We are, See, the thing is with the swear, Russell's a swearer. He I uses, am. he drops the F-bomb quite a lot. And I do, I, I think I yeah, probably... Yeah, but you've got kids, so you've got it probably more under wraps. Yeah. But you've got dogs. I've got dogs, but they swear what, they're, they're worse than I am. No, yeah, dogs don't yeah, talk. Dog language. Don't be so stupid. Let's get back to Lyndon yes. before we start swearing. Okay. Um, so you came here in 15 years ago? Yeah, 15 years Set ago. Set up the Phillips property, I believe. Was it called... Was it England Vocals. It was England Vocals at that time. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was just like the Wild West. Well, the like it is now. <laughs> and um, not much has changed. <laughs> and uh, it, it was, it was, it was amazing, fabulous, uh, an incredible opportunity and an incredible time. And you never sold property. So similar to me, you'd never sold property before. Never you just sold came property. out here. Yes. But that's when the market was really good, and you could just almost, wing it. yeah, well, just wing it. But also, people were coming and buying. Yes. Yeah, without they did. much hassle and without yeah. much. You know, they were knocking on the door. Yeah, they really were. Which is a bit embarrassing when you're in a bedroom in the house. But what you, you and your brother, what, <laughs> what you and your brother do you. behind closed yeah. doors <laughs> is up to you. Okay, we're open yeah. to everything. That's no problem. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Good to hear. I've that. just woken up. I need to get to the office. Oh wait, I'm in it. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. So you did property to start with. Did property to start with, and continued with property. But uh, my career then deviated because we had the global financial crisis, right? 2009? Which kind of, yeah, slowed everything down tremendously. And I went over to the East Coast and I worked for a lovely guy. Uh, easy now. <laughs> I know where this East is going. Coast, Mr. Larvani. RPM. You was at oh, RPM? Royal you? Pocket Marina. How yeah, long yeah, did yeah. you, um, how long was your stint in RPM, your prison I stint? Think I, <laughs> My cell time was around about two years, I think. Oh, I beat you, I think. I did three. Did you do three? Really? I did three years wow. there, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Was it that long? Yeah. Now, that because this is a podcast and we're not allowed to, you know, or it's probably not Say the what right. you want, we can edit it afterwards. No, I can't even do that. But it was, it was uh, educational. That's a Listen, good I think we can, I think the people that are listening, we can be... Uh, they might read the, something into it between the lines. No, well, no. Look, be good. I think we all know RPM is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful marina that could be something special and could be one of the best marinas in the world. Yes, could be. Yes, from an outside. It has the potential. Okay, the difference is you guys have worked there and seen it sort of in the mix as a a punter at best in terms of you know being on the deck and never worked there. Been on the deck, was that a pun? Yeah, on it, was, it was pretty oh, good, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, see what I did there? See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like that. I like almost that. professional. Um, no. I don't see it in that kind of vein. I see it as a vanity project that went horribly wrong. But do you see that because you're on the outside? That, that's what in? I'm saying, because I'm on the outside looking in. But also, but are you hearing the customer. gossip that they talk about it as well? Because um, a lot of yes people. Yes and no, because obviously, like, you know, we're close, and obviously, I knew you also, as you were going through your time there. Not we that are, close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to jump in there. <laughs> oh, I get my own, we get our own little table, look. This is brilliant. This is oh, wow. The service in Bake in Chantley is... Honestly, is, I, is I love Bake in Chantley. Yeah. Oh, you've even... I see it. And if you good. don't want that little biscuit, I will have it for you. No, I'm starving. I haven't had breakfast Dag yet. Dag nam it. Um, but no, so RPM to me, from day one, just has always looked like this... It, I like the, the conceptual idea of what they were trying to do. Fine, but it's just... In, the weirdest, oddest place. It just to me never made sense, and it did strike me as a vanity project that just, over time, just hasn't worked. Possibly, I discuss. Dis <laughs> well, both Lynn and I have worked there in various different positions. Mm. 
um, at various different times. So I, you were there first before I were. Yeah. Before I were. Good, good England there, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. I'm tired. That's... That's the hangover. Country. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, and now you're going to try and talk with a mouthful yeah, of biscuit. Thanks. Brilliant. That's not biscuit. That is almost a bakewell tart. It, it, is, it is a bakewell tart. tart. Yes. Oh, but. so it's not even almost a bakewell tart. <laughs> no, it's not, though, because a bakewell tart, well, that, there's, there's no cream on the top. Well, let's not be pedantic about it. Did you enjoy it? I love a bakewell tart, yeah. Well, who doesn't? We could have Excuse a whole me. discussion about tarts. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. we'll, get to tarts in, we'll get to tarts in a minute. I'm sure we will. <laughs> For those of you watching in black and white, uh, we, can't, we can't even say that. We can't even say that. Uh, yeah, so, so go on. Um, take a slurp of coffee and answer the question. No, <laughs> so I I'd, I'd known Lyndon through working in property. So I was in property in 2007 when I first came here. So I'd met Lyndon so through were you property. Working together? No, no, no. Oh, okay, so. But Lyndon was have it, would have clients to come and visit the project that I was working on. Right. So he would bring not many clients, he didn't sell very well. And which project was that? Um, was that the coconut one? Yeah, the okay, village yeah, yeah. coconut island. Very cool project and you can go over there now. It's a, it's a nice place to go over and have a day out. Um, so that's where I met Lyndon and we became friends, I guess. Yes. Oh, I like how we searched for the word. We became, how do I phrase this? Let's <laughs> <laughs> just check in. Friend? Let's just check in. <laughs> you never um, kiss me. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. <laughs> but then, then Savage. RPM, so again we bumped into each other through RPM. And um, and also, can I, am I? Should I tell the story about your? Can we mention your your current Predicament. other half? Yes, you can. Okay. So um, his his is cringe at this. Oh, there we go. Lyndon's current other half is a, a young lady called Beer. Okay. Um, not spelled as in English beer, but foreign beer. As in B I E R. Yes. yes. Well done. Your is spelling is amazing. Beer f- they used to do the triathlons. Yes, that's yes, true. I that's know. the same one. Okay. Oh. Right. I know. And I know your wife. So oh, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Wife. But a oh, partner, well, life partner. Life partner. Yeah, I, I, yes. I know beer. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Good. Safe way of putting it. Do you use the word life partner? You got yourselves little rings the other day, didn't you? I did notice that. What yeah. are they? Uh, life rings. Oh, you've got yeah, it on now. Are yes. Yeah. 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 But uh, I've got a. I'm not very good at being married. Neither's well, Jay. Actually, well, no. Lyndon's. Oh, no, Lyndon's worse. <laughs> I'll have to say, right? I'm bad at being married. <laughs> Lyndon's worse. Married twice and divorced twice, so I have a hundred percent failure record. Excellent. I'm a much better real estate agent. Right. <laughs> so, Beer was a friend of mine because Beer would be doing graphic design work yes, for right. yeah, me yeah, yeah. personally and for um, some businesses that I work with. So I knew Beer through that. So she became, in fact, she's probably one of my longest Thai friends. Okay. You um, said at one stage that she was one of the best graphic designers you've ever known. Allegedly, allegedly. I said that, did I? Yes. Are you messaging her now saying, Jay's no, saying that you're no, an amazing no, no, graphic I'm just designer? Putting this on Silent. Oh, that's a really so I don't good get a idea, rude phone call from anyone. I'm glad you said that. I'd forgotten to do that. Um, so anyway, um, Lyndon, because beer was working for Paul Robb. Paul Robb, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Paul Robb? Yeah. Paul Robb? Yes, Paul yeah. Rob. yes. Um, weird guy. We're talking about someone yeah. else who was weird. This does go, go public, right? Yes. Oh, well, he's not going to listen. He's about oh, 102 okay. years old. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, still got a ponytail or just that little rat's well, tail. That's, I think that's, that's just a clip odd, on. isn't it? Is it a yeah. clip it's on? It's just odd. It no is. Idea. Anyway. There's only one um, way to find out. So Beer was working for him in the shop at RPM. That's right. Lyndon had been checking her out from a distance because, mm-hmm. you know, she's a good looking young lady. Um, and so, and the rest um, is history. Well, no, Lyndon asked me if, because he knew that I knew her, mm. if I would tap her up for him. That might, sounds might, might, disgusting. That does sound a little bit on the. So, so I, I warmed her up, and then. <laughs> no, 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 no. And then the main chair arrived. I passed my telephone number to her, and if she wanted to go out, she can give me a call. And do you know what? That's exactly what you did. So you were very polite, and you, you did it that way. So I then went to her, and I asked her, I said, hey, you know this sexy guy called Lyndon? He didn't actually. He said, have you ever seen that stalker? <laughs> <hang around here?" laughs> you know that guy that's at the window every morning with his <laughs> face pushed <laughs> He's not a window licker, he's not on his special bus, he's actually. <laughs> very interested in coming to speak to you um, and she went first of all she said well Jay to be honest are you not interested and I said no not really dear. Um, and she said well okay if I have to if have I seconds, have seconds yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like the podcast but yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just a three it's gone 360 yeah. it really has, yeah. it really has. <laughs> and now you're um you're lovers yes indeed yeah for, so how long for you 10, years. 10 years 10 years it's nearly been that 10 long. years yeah, yeah, really yeah, been yeah, that long yeah, that's right yeah yeah I think everyone that had their bets on us lasting for about two months has given up now. 
Actually, crikey, Emma and I is nearly 10 years. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. In yeah. all fairness, I have to say, she is, joking aside, a very, she's, like I said, I have known her for 12 years and she is a super cool chick. But super I did cool ask you, I said, is this girl a lunatic? I said no. Yes, I did, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I hadn't known many Thai people no, by then. there you go, you see. I got it wrong, didn't I? You did. Yeah, sorry. So she categorically is. Yeah, I'm, yeah, no, she's yes. nuts, man. She's yeah. crazy. And I'm dead now, aren't I? <laughs> well, I am when I go home. <laughs> So I'm no, on the podcast on my own next week. Aren't I? <laughs> yeah, this is me oh, talking Christ, to yeah, me. Have her on next week. So let's yeah. get back to. So what do you? No, oh, I've actually got a question for you. Yeah. Because you and I have a similar interest. We do, don't we? Fish. Oh, okay. That yeah, wasn't that the one you was thinking of, was it? No. Well, let's do the fish one first. Yeah. You're oh, a fish God. fan. I am a fish fan. Koi as cup. in, as in fishing or no. eating them or koi cup. Are you into koi carp as well? No, but I'm into tropical fish. Yes. Um, so at the moment I have, oh, I had two die in the last two days. <laughs> and then my two, two of my samurai fighting fish have died oh. in the last two days. Um, but I have, we worked it out, we have, a, now we have nine areas of fish in my two bedroom apartment. Can I ask what the nine fascination areas. is with, with yes. fish? Easy to look after, don't have to train them. No, that's I right. totally disagree with the first part. Any fish I've ever had been floating on the surface. Not well, that's, like, that's easy to look after. You get well, yeah, that. well, yeah, easy to dispose as opposed to look after. Look I, after it would well, suggest <laughs> keeping them alive. But you're okay. My fish, my fish thing comes from. I like trouble. I like the the calmness of having the fish. I like the. Yeah, they right. are easy to look after. Like having a nice aquarium just to sort of. Yeah, look, I think right, it's okay, beautiful. Yeah, I like I the that. color. The color pops out. I mean, that's yeah. what I like having them. Mm. Um, and also for the kids, it's an easy animal to have for my two kids because yep. it's not you don't have to clean it walk it feed it well, you have to well feed we have it, to yes, feed it yeah. and have to clean it but it's an easy suck out the dirty poo poo stuff not from their bum bums because that's just weird that's not me holding a fish and sucking it that's me with a tube in the bottom of the I've gone it too far really? haven't I hang on so you put a tube you, like a straw into the tank and you fit I'm, you yeah. siphon it out basically yeah you Thank siphon you. it that... out yeah so I have a tube it's not a straw and don't use plastic straws. Plastic's bad, but no, plastic's good. It kills turtles, and we hate turtles. When you say um, we... Me. Is it just me? It's just Anyway, me. koi carp are very different from what I keep, because yeah. that's a lot of work. They're and not they the big are ones. expensive. Yes. The big expensive ones. Yes. And what's the fascination with them? What? Do you know what? That's a good question. Oh, this goes I'm good back at that. years and years and years ago, when I was a wee whippersnapper in, uh, in, in Didcot in Oxfordshire. Didcot? I you used to have a girlfriend first... in Didcot. Did you really? Yeah, uh, Wallingford. You did Wallingford? Oh, Wallingford, no. just down away from Didcot. Yes, I did indeed. Good Lord, I. There we go. What My was her name? My second daughter was born in Wallingford. You've got kids. We're going, we're going we're off on tangents at the minute. Dial it back. As a wee nipper in Didcot. Yes. And you came across Koi Carp. Yes. They weren't so, in Wallingford, I can tell you well, that. Well, actually, actually, a friend of mine dug a huge hole in his garden. One, That's how you make a pond, afternoon. by the way. Yes. Yeah. And said, my wife's going to be really pleased at this. <laughs> and funny enough, she wasn't so pleased when she came home. <laughs> and, and then I thought, That's a great idea. I'll dig a big hole in my garden. How old were you at this time? Uh, 19. Oh, okay. okay. Something like that. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So quite. So so old enough to know what you were doing. So, so that's that's what that's what initiated it. So I bought crappy fish first of all, crappy koi you, carp. Your, your, your bog standard goldfish that go in your, a pond. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So killed them, then <laughs> bought some koi, put them in the pond, killed those as well. Then I started to read how to keep them properly, and it went on from there. So it's it's a bug that's been big with me for the last thirty years. And do you have fish now? Yes. Uh, well, like, do you have your big koi carp? And I have. Well, they're no, they're not big because I buy them as small yearlings. They call them tossai. What? And tossai. Yes, it sounds. That's rude, what I thought you said. It? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how much is your? Because I, I just bought a fish for Ashton. Yes. Um, which was the most expensive fish I've ever bought. Right. Now and it was how much? Eighty-five it, baht. No, it was six hundred and ninety baht. Right. Okay. And it's a, a flower horn. Fish. So Ooh, it's part of the. Sounds lovely. Yeah, it's part of the be, uh, the better beta. So it's the, the same family. Fish, yeah. it's, a, it's a beta fish. fish. Yeah, but it's it's not. So it's still under testing. It's not a real fish. It's, no, no, <laughs> well, it's not a real fish because it's a, it's a bred fish. It, you, it's not in cap There is none in the wild. It no, is, it's right. been inbred from the different samurai for, for a different samurai fish. From the, I call them samurai fighting fish. Okay, fine. Not okay. this one, but they, so I have those fluffy ones which we're then yes. trying to make. But then yeah, so this one is six hundred and ninety baht. He's got a big bump on his head. He's called. But, oh, yeah. Right, okay. Um, but how much is a koi carp? Can I turn this off now? <laughs> and then you go, oh, that's cheap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a bit later on. Um, 
Just give us a number uh, and we'll uh, add the uh, zeros. Uh, okay. Probably, well, it, they would range from 3,000 baht up to 15,000 baht. What's the most expensive toy carp you have purchased? I was expecting it to be a lot more. Or does so. beer not want to know this? Or does it look at your face? I don't know. Um, Can we maybe 15,000 baht, I think. Wow. Yeah. For a fish. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah how how yeah. long do they live? Oh, they can last. They can last up to 100 years. Oh, wow. So it's a yeah. long But don't worry, long, because oh, beer will kill them before that ever happens. But either <laughs> <it's, laughs> well, that or over time, that's, you know, for over a 100 year investment, that's not a lot of money. If you no, that's okay. spread it out. Would you then sell them, or is it afterwards? Do you well, then, I mean, do you train the them up, beef them up, and sell them? Or? That was the plan, but beer manages to actually kill them before they actually get sold. No, that's not her fault. Honestly, darling, if you listen, I'm very, very sorry. We, it's a joint effort, killing them. We've already identified uh, but you've she's just a been, <laughs> Russell said that. <laughs> you've been away in the UK for the last two weeks. Yes. At your, one of your daughter's weddings. weddings. Yep. So who Rusty. looks after the fish when you're away? Funny you should say that. They're all self-contained in a little tank, in a, in a <laughs> big tank, actually. And what we and say they look after. I get, I get the house, one of the Burmese housemaid ladies from the estate to put a scoop full of food in one a day and don't touch anything. It's a bit like that joke with the monkeys that they send into space that's trained to, uh, to, to, to control the space shuttle. I'm guessing and there's a woman looking. that's yeah. in there as well. And all the monkeys do various things <laughs> like ejecting the rockets and everything else. And then mission control says, woman, can you, come, can you come to the station, please? She comes over, says, now what I want you to do? And she says, yeah, yeah, I know. Feed the monkeys and don't touch anything. Yeah. That, that kind of thing. So anyway, that's, that's what it was. It's all right. sexist, isn't it, really? <laughs> oh, we've been that. worse. We've been, yeah, we've yeah. been worse. They're fantastic. I love women. Yeah. <laughs> Especially my mum. Yeah. <laughs> so how many fish do you have at the moment? 14. How many kids do you have? Two. Right. The eldest just got married last week. I picked that one up. Um, she's 29. And then I have the youngest that's just started a brand new job. And she's 19. That's when you know Libby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Enough. And they're both back in the UK? They're both back in the UK, yes. Yeah. Right. And how often do you visit. go back? Uh, I go back once, twice a year. Okay. Yeah, and they come over for Christmas and New Year's, things like that. Gotcha. So that all works out, ideally. But I'm always on the phone for a begging letter or something like that, you know, a begging call. Like, <laughs> from, Dad, from what I understand, that's part of the benefit or the drawback of being a parent. That's right, yeah. something I don't have to worry about, thankfully. Well, I mean, we don't know, 100%. I mean, well, yeah, as far as I'm aware, I don't... I've got questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, oh, we've leave all, that, we've all got we'll, questions. We'll leave that one. We yeah. won't go down that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what do you do? We've got... So you fish, and what fish. do you do now? What? Working or with the fish? Well, I, well, well I think we've covered the fish. you put fish. it that way, yeah. Um, working. Working. What, do you, what, what now are you doing I now? I work for Prime Real Estate in Chernsley, in Boat Avenue. One of the top brokers on the island. <laughs> Probably, if not the top. <laughs> By the Heineken advert, I suppose, really. And is the market good, bad, indifferent? The market could be better at the moment, yes. It's definitely a buyer's market. That's a positive yeah, spin, There you go. Here. Yeah. Which is, but you kind of have to say that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, to be fair. Because you put the thing in front of my face that says, read this. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this I'm is what joking. you will say. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, the market... Uh, uh, it, uh, the Phuket market has really gone through peaks and troughs. E either we have um, riots in Bangkok, or we have airport closures, or we have a military coup, or, or, or whatever. And that's but just a week. The market, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, in, that's in one week. Uh, but the market always recovers. It's what, Phuket is one of those special destinations that is very central to Southeast Asia. Yeah that has incredible beaches, fabulous food, great lifestyle, and it's always going to be, we're, it's always going to be there. It's always going to be a tropical retreat for people from Hong Kong, Singapore, and I, 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 I agree. It, it, it's peaks and troughs. It's the wave, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I remember, like we said, when I got here in 2006, 2007, it was amazing. And we, was on the, we were riding the waves, and then 2009 hit, obviously, the, the financial the wave, crisis, yeah. and the wave went down, you know, and crashed, and we were yeah. down in the, in the trough. And then it picked up again a couple of years later, and then yeah. everyone started building property again. And the, 
you know, the Russians came, then Chinese came, then, so it is. And I, I have a feeling that it's going to, we are down, but I also think that we're on our way up as well. Most definitely. I really do. I, I totally definitely. feel that because everyone's been moaning and groaning about, oh, the markets, this market. It's like, well, it's going to come back. Yes. Do you solely back. focus on Phuket in terms of property? Yes, but funny you should say that. We're going to be looking at Samui as well shortly. Okay, but so you and you've obviously got your finger on the pulse of what is happening in property in Thailand in general. You yeah. better do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If his boss is listening, would like to, to think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, and within the region, um, I know everything. Um, so, is Phuk- is what is happening in Phuket, or what has been happening over the say five, last five ten years in Phuket, with the peaks and troughs and the cycle? Yeah. Is that reflective across the entirety of Thailand, or is Phuket in an, and of itself a bit of a bubble? Oh, that's no, a good question. I think uh, a little bit is no. I'll tell you what it is. It's I'd for like Thailand you to, in general. I asked. <laughs> however, <laughs> yeah. However, because Phuket relies so much on tourism, it, we feel it we feel a lot more. A bit more sure than Bangkok because Bangkok will have commercial travel and, and everything else going through it and running through it but Phuket is, is, is a tourist destination yeah. and when something happens like that that we've had in the past uh, we feel it a lot more yeah. so our our peaks and troughs the, the gap between the two seems to be and feels to be a lot more so but, cyclical yeah, nationwide but it's yes, just the, the, the exactly, effects yes. of that here more, yeah. more closely yeah okay. definitely so why, why the I mean I guess it's Probably an obvious question, but why they move into Samui? Uh, only for one reason for, for Prime, and that is for complete beachfront property. So we're only going to specialise in absolute uh, oceanfront property, okay. and, and that's it. So it'll be quite high end stuff. We're not going to get involved with landlocked uh, developments or anything else. So, so we'll have a select. Uh, a select portfolio of, uh, of, of oceanfront property from, in Samui. Which is Very interesting because I had a, a meeting with Lyndon this morning. Surprise, surprise. Um, oh, I work. I didn't mention this. <laughs> no, at the time. Project. I would have mentioned <laughs> about that. Well, it was on my list. Of, so I should explain. So uh, Prime Real Estate Phuket, one of, I work with them from a, a marketing point of view. So I had a chat this morning with Paul. Someone, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's, he's the owner. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I had a meeting with Lyndon, and we was we were just talking about beach, absolute beachfront property, and I was asked so for the Samui ones, and then is this, I will come back and get to this in a minute. We were talking about Natai Beach and how good Natai Beach is, which you yeah, yeah. see that at the wedding. And we were saying, and I was asking them, do they have any property up in Pang Na that they were going to sell? And the answer was, well, no, because there's not much there to do apart from the beautiful villa, which are all prime beachfront stunning. villas yeah, and stunning. Right, yeah. But you're right, but whereas in Samui, you've got the facilities around you straight away. So yeah. I guess that's the reason to go into Samui looking for beachfront rather than pushing the entire beach. Yes, yes. Or do you go down the road of, you know, it's, wasn't it Mark Twain who said, you don't, don't wait to buy land, buy land and wait. So huh? Don't wait to buy land, buy land and wait. No, no, it's, but yeah, where's this, what? I'm sure it was Twain. But anyway, the Twain. point was, Why instead Twain? of... Twain? Yes. And so you know him, Twain. Yes. Twainy. Yeah, Twainy. I'm a Twainy boy. Um, I don't get that. No, the point being, you were saying, you know, do you... a millionaire? Who's a millionaire? Mark Twain? No. What? Where's this gone now? (laughs) (laughs) I'm totally confused. Right, dial it back in terms of buying, you're saying, uh, places like Natai. Yes. Might not be the place because you don't have the services and everything around it. So not surely yet, no. now would be the time to get into that market because it's got to be a matter of time before those but arrive. It's, but okay, it's, it's and then you're already, already in the market. Yeah, I think as, as Lyndon said, it's happened already. So you've missed yeah. that boat. You've missed the boat. Well, and thanks for the heads waiting. up, Lyndon. For <laughs> sake. Did we knew that was going to happen. They, 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 oh, did we now? Oh, right. We we knew. Everyone knew. <laughs> you're shouting again. Well, he's winding me up. Why? Because he, he there was a up. property bubble that we could have been right at the forefront of, and Lyndon didn't tell us. Lyndon That's might, what I'm reading oh, out of all of this. Russell's building a canine uh, training academy centre. What's the word for it? Yeah, the, exactly that. Yeah. Um, I'm building a, a, a canine resort. A resort? Actually not, yeah, not far up the road, actually. Oh, really? Is that for, like, dogs that want to go on holiday? Yes, it's, it's exactly you, what it's for. See, you should then have some calming fish. Tank there, <laughs> right? To calm the well, dogs down, the crazy dogs. Well, the funny part is, so the, the land I've got, which is just up the road uh, in Bandon, the, I've got three rye of land, yeah. of which just under half of it is a lake, which was built by the, the, the landlord, well, there's four of them, they said, you know what we could do? We could dig a hole, put some fish in it, and have a little fishing park. And that's what they set it up for. Oh, so, really? There you go. So, there's yeah. an opportunity here. Opp- knock yourself out. Linden's Coys. Yeah. Linden's Carp? Linden Coy. Linden. Koi Linden. Koi Linden Carp? <laughs> 
whatever. Oi, Lindan. We get we get some mileage out of that. Oh, there must be more. To, um, there must be some puns here somewhere. There yeah, must. Mm. Mm, we'll come back to. Yeah. Um, Lindan, tell us more about you. So you're now. So what do you do for fun? Because here you oh, no actually, shop. No, we should talk about your your. Um, oh wow, check out your tricep. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, oh, hey. Steady on. Look at those guns. Oh, stop feeling Do you me. work <laughs> out? Yes, I do work out. Tell us out. about your working out, because you have what? <laughs> this, this I was going to say this syphilis, is not a, yeah. but I won't. Well, there, because that's been cleared by the doctor on my work permit. <laughs> Thank you, you very much for being here. Was that Beer's <laughs> fault as well or not? No. <laughs> no I don't think so. No. Uh, well, that's worrying then. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yes, I do. No, I, I have diabetes, type 2. Which, now, I, see, I don't know... I'm not know. proud of that. When it says that, you know, when it so may you, come over... I don't know what that is. So please explain to... So you're not jabbing yourself. No, you're just managing I'm it. I'm not. No. No. So I have diabetes, type 2, which means that when I eat a cake, the carbs from the cake turn into sugars and my body can't my body cells can't absorb the sugar so they just float around in my bloodstream all the time and then what until happens I wee -wee. Um, and then you go you have a high hypo and hypo high, hyper yes a hyper so you so you're very high so you might go a little bit crazy you'll sweat like mad and, and, and everything else it's, it's not very good for you because it and can you go damage the other your eyes and, and, and you're like um, so how do you, you manage it by not eating cake or i i manage it by not eating cake <laughs> <laughs> he says winking it's while we're uh, sat in bake <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes that's right it's talking cool. about Bakewell tarts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you haven't um, had your Bakewell tart. Though. No, I haven't. There you go. Oh, Help yourself. oh I think Russell waited. Oh, Russell was way ahead of you. Um, God, so I, I, uh, I watch what I eat and I exercise like crazy. So you've been, and don't take this the wrong way, but yeah. a few years ago you were yes. probably a, a pork chop. Would probably not a pork, not a not a fat pork Are chop, a lean pork chop. Slightly rotund. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, fat knacker. Yes. But yes. No, you weren't. I mean, you, you, you're not on the. No, okay. I was going to say someone, but I won't. You were a little bit. You were a little bit overweight. Now, was it the diabetes that then made you kick in? Because you are looking buff right Thank now. Thank you very much indeed. And very you're trim, very felt. Now, I, I don't want to mention your age, but you're a little bit older than Russell and I. But you I'm do 36. look. <laughs> you do look pretty damn good for your age. Is that a cue for me to? That's a cue for my to, age. It's, no, it's either that no, or for no, me no, to no. walk away. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Do you guys want to give it a moment? Indeed. That's but, very nice of me to say. So, so. so was the di was the diagnosis of diabetes? Was that the 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 gun to say right? I'm now going to go. The gun is probably not was. the right word. The starter pistol. Yeah. yeah. For you to no, go. I think probably yes, yes. And uh, and I and when I heard about that, I had to go onto this horrendous. Um, diet of 800 calories a day for, for eight weeks, and bless her, Kumbia looked after me and did all the cooking and everything else. And well, I didn't lost. cook very much. Yeah, not very <laughs> no, much. You're as a carrot. How much? Yeah. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. Oh, fucking chop it for goodness' sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least you could do. But was that to completely like to reset your system or something? Yeah, was that it? was to because that they. Th I mean, diabetes is all a bit of a. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, funny one really they think that it's a lot to do with the visual fat around Correct. the abdominal cavity yeah. pressing on the pancreas and stuff like this um, this podcast has just got very uh, high scientific, scientific yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Scientific. so um, so I did that with the with the with the hope of reducing the visual fat which actually it did I lost 13 kilos Five kilos. We weren't was eating that, anything. How no, much exactly. were you? Okay, so what was your starting weight when you first got diagnosed with your diabetes? Oh, I can't remember. Ninety something. Right. High okay. nineties. High nineties. And then I dropped down to eighty. Eighty-six. Is that when you no. started wearing the, the horrible speedos and stuff that you used to wear in your social media pictures? All prop. Yes, I think it was. Yes. That There's was... nothing wrong with that. No, no, no really. there was a lot wrong with that. <laughs> well, packing. <laughs> <laughs> were they white? No. Okay. That's no, they, 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 were, they were colourful. Lyndon's no, always, no, right. Right. Lyndon's oh, always had a very colourful... I like your colourful personality of clothes. I like it. But see that. It, it, was <laughs> the, it, was a, it was the Speedos that I just couldn't... No, I, they, uh, I promised they won't be worn again. Okay, fair enough. Sorry, so go back to so your... Not for future yeah, podcasts, so you, you anyway. So I lost 13 kilos. 5 kilos was fat, but 7 kilos was muscle. And I still look good. That's what amazed me, or at least... The Even lady boys so down Bangla Road said I look good. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And to be fair, they're real judges. I mean... <laughs> yeah, oh, I'd imagine so, yes. <laughs> so, where, so you just balance your diet right now. So you, but you still exercise a lot, though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I, go, I try and go every, every day to the gym. Uh, you, can I hug yeah, 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 can you? Yeah. U-Time gym? You can, yeah. can hug U-Time gym. I'm a member at U-Time. Great. I'm oh, not a member at U-Time. They're great. But I don't... I know they are. I know the owners, and they're lovely. I just don't like gyms like that. That's not my thing. Right, OK. That's Fair it. enough. End of... End of that one, then. Yeah. <laughs> Put you to shame. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and I try to walk as well in the morning. But, no, I... But you, you're looking... You've got the gun... Jay, I mean, steady on. Well, no. Jay does this. He hits on all of our really? guests. He does. It's, wow. it's quite unnerving at times. Oh, shit. So I'm not lucky, then. Well, you know, I don't want to put but you down. You're, you're a buff dude. You see what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you're a buff right? dude. He is a bit Look of those legs. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. a freckles. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's what makes it right. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a buff dude. But I just, I'm not a buff dude. I yeah. never have been a buff dude. I mean, I am but beautiful you and gorgeous. Were you into shape with your, with your boxing thing? That you yeah, did? they got my ass kicked. You were there that night, weren't oh, you? I was. I was cheering you What was it like on. to watch someone that you painful. knew get very, kicked? Very painful. Did you have pads? No. 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 So no helmets, no, no, no nothing. Yeah, okay. so we agreed. Uh, uh, we were wearing um, gloves, obviously, full on gloves. Yeah, but we were wearing full, uh, fourteen ounces, which are the yeah. big. They're yeah, the yeah, sparring yeah, gloves, yeah, so they're yeah. the big ones. Yeah. We weren't like. There's no MA yeah, gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But we we talked. We were meant to wear headgear. Yes. But then we talked. To, I talked to him. Leo, his name is. Handsome Brazilian dude. Had it perfectly shaved. Um, he was amazing at kicking. And I said to him, I said, look, and he goes, I don't want to wear headgear. And I said, look, I will, I will happily not wear headgear because I knew I could outbox oh, him. Dear. But I said, but promise me you we, don't, we don't kick in the head. And he said, like fair enough. The... No, we, were, we weren't allowed elbows and knees. No, we were allowed knees, but elbows were strikes weren't allowed in the competition. We were in that fight. No one threw a knee, though, did they? I could barely throw a kick, let alone a knee. Couldn't Where, get close enough to him. Yeah, if you're like me, you can he hardly was, get your leg above the I your was all right at punch. I mean, you don't, but you don't need to. And but, that's the thing. But, oh, no, just well, Jay a, is testament to that. From a personal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from a personal thing. But what was it like to watch? I know you said it horrible. was pain, it was horrible to watch. Yes, it but was horrible more because to watch. you knew him. It, yeah, 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 because we love him anyway. But uh, but to see him then get kicked, and for him to go down on the floor, only to stagger up again and get kicked again. I mean, you went down like three times. No, more than that. I just, but I kept on getting. I don't know why. I just kept on getting up. Yeah, because I just thought leg myself, end. But the yes, <laughs> I was an idiot. Yeah, but the that guy, who, who's the guy that uh, that was partners with AKA? Yeah, uh, AKA. Uh, Mike Swick. Mike Swick. Yeah, but his partner. Oh, what was um, his name? oh yeah, he's a really nice guy, Canadian guy. He's actually a, a, he used to train the Canadian wrestling team. <laughs> Bla- Blair, 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 Spears. Blair, Spears. Blair Spears. Yeah. I was uh, now. This makes sound like her. But I was in the toilet with Blair. <laughs> Blair. Oh, you know, as you do, chatting away. And, uh, so that's the I podcast said, for this week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> confessions of um, toilets. And, and we were chatting. Actually, it should be Toilet you. Confessions. There that's the name of the podcast. Thank you. There you go. Sorry, you were chatting with Blair in with the toilet. Blair, in the saying, rooms. And I, was a bit you, funny. I said to Blair that, you know, I was amazed that you went in there. And he, was, he said that he was amazed that you kept getting up and... Kudos for you to, to get up all the time. Yeah, I shouldn't have done. No, that's right. I regret it afterwards. Thought, yeah. Did but you it, have awareness at the time, or was it a case of, I'm, I'm here, I just need to get up, this is what I'm here to do, as opposed to... Um, I, part of me knew, well, the whole thing for me Because I'm here for the show, Yeah, right? I was here so, for the show. Y- yeah. I was here for the show. So was that part of it? Yeah. Oh, what, keep getting back up again? Yeah, yeah. No, I kept on getting back up because I just thought, because I was just thought, why not, why, why would I just lay down? Yeah, fair enough. Um, I also... Look, he was better than me, right? Uh, my only, ch- but I also, I had no real, I mean, my coaching was great, but then I had no, I didn't have a, re- uh, what's it called? A person in my corner that yeah, could okay. speak English. Oh. So oh. it would have been nice so if I'd done sign language. Yeah, yeah. so it would have so been. he kept kicking you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Punch you the fist and that guy's head. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, it was pretty amazing. Um, I've just realised we're, we're starting to get to the, the point of no return. Fair right, enough. Of our podcast. Uh, but no, it was it was amazing. It was a great experience. But then I think I came and sat with you, and I was white as a sheet, wasn't you I? You were white, and you were shaking like crazy. Yeah, I you was very very cold. Yeah, I was in a world of trouble. I was in I was in major shock. Right. I shouldn't have drove home that night. That would have been a, a, sure. a low sugar. But yeah, yeah, a bit of a crash or or, or a dump of adrenaline. Yeah, it, 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 it probably think. might have been both actually. Yeah, adrenaline yeah. dump plus the yeah, low sugar. Exactly, yeah. That's what gives you that. Yeah. Uh, um, we could go on. We could. We could. Um, so yeah, we're getting to very close to. 
the end, but we can keep going if you want to keep going. Yeah. So, I'm fine, I'm Russell, fine. We've, you're going to do black tie Muay Thai. I, I, I haven't decided yet. I'm, well, basically anything I'm planning for next year, everything's on hold until my facility is up and running. But would you, so Beer wants you to do it? She, Have you thought she before? She said last year or something like that that I should do it. That's only because she's not the one getting punched in the face and kicked in the leg. <laughs> and I said, thank you, Jay. She'll be in the corner saying, yes, punch just, him! I said, did you not see Jay? Yeah. And he's like 20 years younger than me. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I've always wondered what it would be like, but I think the nerves would be absolutely horrendous. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I guess, it, I think for me it was... Like I said, it was all about, it, for me it was a show. I took it as a complete, it was yeah. a show, it was an event. Yeah. And I kind of knew that I would take a beat in. But for me, it was kind of, I always knew I wanted Leo to win. I didn't really, did, did I want to win? Maybe part of me did, but I realised that it was a show. And, and you won. The, it the, was the more, winning was, was the winning, less of the outcome. Yeah, the, I didn't care really about that much about winning or losing. It was more, I was, I wanted it to be a wrestling WWF event yeah. or E event and I was the bad guy and this Leo guy was a good guy and the good guy has to win uh, I wanted to be the one that was booed and he- it was a pantomime Yes, that's the way I wanted it to be and I think it could have been much better if they'd set it up like that as well because I wanted to do a press conference beforehand where oh. it would end up in like a fake mass brawl and a mass fight yeah, like yeah, the Tyson yeah, Fury yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah Tyson yeah, yeah. Fury who was just on the wrestling show it was all yeah, everything set up just yeah. and from a marketing point of view it's great that would work really well but they didn't really they didn't buy into that no. it would have been better for them to do that as well. I they think so they would have got more more coverage of it more coverage yeah, yeah 100% because yeah, exactly. yeah. I also suggested they should do Dancing with the Stars rather than the Muay Thai because watch as you said watching people get beaten up is not for everybody which is why it should have been more of a wwe a show, show yeah. style yeah because yeah. yeah i mean there, there can be some skill to it as as we know but it's more of a you know you're not worried oh my mate's actually getting built Hammered. quite seriously yes. here yeah so uh, because that does kind of put a downer on things it's like you know you know well done yeah. raising money for charity but my mate's in trouble yeah that's it yeah, it yeah, taught yeah. me to take a kick in <clears throat> i know i can take a kick in now yeah. Come on, Lyndon, Lyndon, while we're here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, get him in the And that's the podcast for this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you, are you considering that then or not? No. You're not, not at all? No, 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 no. Because uh, there comes a stage in life where your brain tells you that certain things are pretty stupid to do at, at your age. And that's one of the things that I wouldn't <laughs> do. Plus, plus one of those bungee jumping things. Yeah, I've done island. that. I've done I wouldn't that. want to do that either. Or not on the island, no yeah, way. Yeah, well, I got talked into that. Was, um, I filmed it. Yeah, you I did. I was amazed you survived. Oh, that was not so long ago. Oh, oh no, it was years ago. That was when we were on the radio together. This was on the radio together. This was, and this was that? at the one in Katu, which Where the was guy, shut down the year after. Yes, the guy died exactly. Well, no, no, right, he didn't. Yeah. He slipped out of the bloody... He slipped out of this Velcro thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was like the manager or something, wasn't he? No, he was a tourist. No, he was, tourist. No, he was, he was definitely a tourist. Definitely yeah. Tourist. Oh, yeah. I mean, there is, that's. I mean, I'd always wanted to bungee jump. I just never wanted to do it here. Yeah. And then I think it wasn't the most attractive place. So you're basically you're no, jumping, jumping into a, a dirty old, old lake. lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. even a lake. The pond. Pond. There you go. Yes. No koi carp in no there. Koi no koi carp at all. I can. Not. I can attest no. to that. My head went straight in. I had a quick Ooh. look around. No, nothing in there. It was really. Do- I remember going there in, in our room for the radio and taking pictures. I thought this is really dodgy. The thing I found with the bungee or anything like that over here. Yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't do anything like that. I mean, I'd like to skydive. I'd like to do it. My, my friend has actually bungeed off Victoria Falls, right, so, okay, which yeah. looks amazing. And the thing for me with bungee is, it's obviously it's on your feet, and that's the bit. If you were holding the rope here or had it strapped to your chest, yes. it would be a thousand times easier because it's like it's there. I can hold yes. it, and, and off we go. Yeah. Because it's on your feet, you're just like, I'm killing myself. Yes, exactly. Go. <laughs> That's first. the feeling of it. It's does your weird. head, when you get down at the bottom, and then you're just about to spring back up again, do, does all your eyes no, burst? No, not at all. Because it's not like the cartoon where his eyes <laughs> comes out. <laughs> it's, it's like Wiley Coyote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely. The, the, the ac- what is it called? The Akeem, whatever, the acne thing just yeah, yeah. comes down, and then all of a sudden the big anvil drops on your <laughs> <Yeah>. head. <laughs> but you're all right, because your head just squashes yeah. and it comes back up. <laughs> No, you I mean, just for pull me. your ears, don't you? Exactly. <laughs> Whoop, and it all comes yeah. out. Or just blow really hard, hold your nose. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually very gradual. 
Oh, really? So it's not like you suddenly hit the end of the road and go, and go boing. Yeah. It's, I mean, from even before you hit anywhere near the bottom, like the last third, it's just all stretch, 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 right. and then brings you back up. The worst part for me was, for some reason, once I'd done a lot of the bouncing bit and was waiting for them to lower me down, I just started spinning. Oh, so and I couldn't control so it. So really I was dizzy. just, I felt really unbelievably dizzy just going around and around in circles for like 30 seconds Ooh. once they lowered me down to the ground. That was the hard part. So what is on your bucket list of things to do? If not bungee. Oh, loads of things. Dive with great white sharks. Yeah, I'm up for that. Love to do that. Not sure about this glass cage though. Well, a cage that diving is, or a free yeah, no cage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For those, you watch, for those of you yeah. watching in black and white, Lyndon's eyes at that point. <laughs> yeah. Bulging just, out like just, he's just done a bungee yes. jump. Yeah. 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 Cage diving with sharks. Yes, definitely. But, but great whites. Yes. Great whites. Not a in lemon shark South or anything Africa. like that. South Africa. No, probably okay. not. No, because you can just put those in Do you your like pocket. rugby? Yeah. Uh, yes, okay, yes. Okay, we need to have a little chat after the podcast. But oh. anyway, carry on. What's that got to do with great white sharks? It, probably a trip to South Africa. Oh, okay. Something like that. Lions Tour 21. There you go. Uh, what else? Northern Lights. Yeah, Never that's on my Northern list. Lights, that's, right. that's, yeah, yeah, that's on my list. Um, my mum saw those in Iceland. It's stunning. Mm. Oh, so many things. So Ooh. many things. So uh, many things. There's two. The, yeah, there's <laughs> not that many. That's not even a few. No, that's a okay. couple. You want a few more? <laughs> yeah. Pyramids. Really? What, any pyramid? No, well, the Tutankhamun pyramid right. thing. Just Why? Here's, here's one. Just go. No, it, well, there's loads around there, isn't there? So, yeah, there's a few. Yeah. Well, the Grand Pyramids. Yes, you could just buy a Toberone, pyramids. to be fair. You could. And then look I at buy a Toberone for Russell when I go on holidays. That's my little treat to him. Oh, Although, nice. I love to be to, fair, to, no, a triangle, not a pyramid. I'll be honest. Oh, 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 oh there's a technical. I don't, but I just, no, you are being technical now. <laughs> Pedantic. When, when I do say I buy him a Toberone, he gets half of it. Because generally what happens is I'll buy the Toberone, <laughs> I'll get home. Get no, no, the kids don't. I'll get home. I might then partake in a little bit of something that makes me a little bit hungry, and then all of a sudden I eat half the toe room. Really? But I do yeah. save him the other half. So wow. I do get some of it. So yeah. I should be grateful so for that. I'm grateful box. for that. But why the pyramids? <laughs> I hit the Kleenex <laughs> box a lot. I've been divorced for three years, yeah. There's a lot of Kleenex in my house. <laughs> right, on that horrible note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dad, have you been sneezing a lot? <laughs> yeah, I've got, a bit of, I've got the flu. Honestly, having kids is a good excuse to have wet wipes. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. That's it, and it? baby lotion. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do have baby lotion yeah, yeah, actually yeah. as well. Oh, very good. I think we're getting And that's the far, podcast right? for this week, folks. <laughs> no, in all fairness, my Ashton does like to put baby oil on after a shower. He got taught it by one of his teachers from school last that's year. Weird. I've got a whole that's range weird. of questions yeah, that about is that. Weird. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's a lot the, of the questions. The teacher takes me back to my school days. And you that wasn't baby like oil. That. Give it here. That, <laughs> that was Vaseline. Did you get the ruler back in those days? Yes. Yeah. I had the cane and a slipper. At the same time? Swimming. No, different times. Okay. I got sent to the headmaster once for booing at a dinner lady because she wouldn't let me on the field at lunchtime because it was a bit wet. So I went up to her face and just went, boo! And, and you, you got the cane for it? No, I got the slipper for that one. Oh, okay. The yeah. cane was for me kicking was the ball up in there. from the dinner lady or from the headmaster? No, from the headmaster. Oh, oh, dinner lady didn't know what to do. She was, I don't know, Maureen. She couldn't do anything. <laughs> she got booed at. <laughs> Did she ask for the cane afterwards as well? I think her and the headmaster might have had a bit on the side, I don't know. Ah. Allegedly. Oh, and go. I don't know if her name was Maureen. Maureen, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I'm not sure she will be listening to her. Sorry podcast. that her name's Maureen, or sorry that you booed her? I don't know. Sorry for both, I guess. Fair enough. Yeah. Good to know. Um, so, yes. Great White Sharks, Pyramids, Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Yes. Anything in Phuket or, or, or around that you haven't done that you'd, you would like to do? Do you know? 15 years here, podcast. never done yeah, podcast, is a, that's groundbreaking. <laughs> scuba diving. You've never scuba dived? Never scuba dived. I've right. never Which scuba dived. It's probably a bit here. of a drawback with the cage diving. Well, thing, so you right? don't have to scuba, scuba quite so deep for that bit. But. Scuba diving uh, and also learning how to surf properly. I it's did not it the best place to do it here, though. Yeah. No, not to go a gentle baby don't, way. Don't do it here. Go to Bali on Kuta Beach and learn to do it there, and then you drown like I did. Yeah. Oh, well, you didn't okay. drown properly, though, I did said, you? I said nearly drown. Oh, yeah, nearly yeah, drown. Like I, I didn't do that job. Okay. Um, so from first that, yeah. Uh, drive a very fast car. Very fast. So a race, a racetrack day. A racetrack day. Oh, yes. that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but a proper one. You know. What sort of? We need to, what? To, we need to cars. Yeah, like a like a Merc or a Porsche or something. Or like. Oh, we're talking about an F1 car. car. Oh. I did a Jinx. I did a Formula Renault car last year. Around Cruxton. Uh. Oh, no, no, it's the four wheel, yeah, yeah. the, the, the single nice seater thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good fun. That was good fun. Yeah. 
Um, and see a really, a really good Grand Prix somewhere nice. Are you a Grand Prix fan, are you? Yes, I'm afraid I am. Yeah, I'm a bit of a nut. That's all right. For me, Especially that would probably year. either be Suzuka. Yes. Oh, it's been rained off on yeah, Saturday, well, yeah, by qualifying the way. I'm not sure rained off, it's typhooned off. Yeah, yeah. Right well, so some yeah, of the rugby right, as well. Yes. Um, I would do Suzuka, possibly... Um, Monaco. Spa. Yeah, it's Spa, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Surely you've got, yeah, see if I was going to well, do it, I'd want to do Silverstone, I'd want to do Brands Hatch, one of the classic racetracks, not yeah. one of the newer ones. Mm. Yeah. yeah. With yeah. the exception of Austin, I would do the Austin one, but I like Austin. Steve Austin. Austin that too. I like that Texas. Austin. There's good things that come from Texas. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, let's yeah. not go Big there, hats. crikey. We're, <laughs> we're a Texas fan on this podcast. Yes. Is that right? I spent two, I Texas sp for me, because I spent two Texas. years there. No, not oh, the group right. Texas. They're from no. Scotland. Not the group right. Texas, no. no Texas the place. My okay, yeah, very good. What? Something to do with well, he worked there? in Texas for a bit, and that's where he learned to talk to dogs. Oh, really? Really, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, where was that then? Texas. Uh, Texas. Where in America. Where? Big America. Southern On the world. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> do you believe that the Earth's flat? No, absolutely okay. not. Do you know someone that does? No. And can you keep your ears out? Because if you do come across someone that thinks it's flat, like, genuinely, Rather than punching him in the face, <laughs> could you give them our number because we really want them on the podcast? Yes, but I, yeah, there's a lot of this conspiracy theory about, isn't there? It's, it's everywhere. It's on Joe Rogan and Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's on about it all the time on his Instagram and stuff. How could the, uh, the Earth possibly be flat? And so flat. what about the other planets? Oh, they don't exist. Right. How do you mean? What other planets? Yeah, well, exactly. Start, uh, skies full of them. That's something I can't get my head around. What's that? Planet. The universe being infinite. Infinite. That's a whole other podcast. And it's real as well, right? And What's it's what? real. Well, the, when you look up at night and see all the stars and everything else, to think that that doesn't finish kind of blows my mind a little bit. Now yeah. you're thinking about it, right? No, I am. All I brought Zahara a telescope. Thinking, he's burning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I brought Zahara a telescope for her birthday, so yeah, we've been looking at stars and moons and stuff, and also a microscope. So she's got both, but she's more into the microscope than she is into the telescope. Is it all the setting up thing? Because we bought Tira a telescope from the UK. That was a complete nightmare. There's no set. <laughs> what, what did you? Um, it's not a Hubble. It's yeah. just a friggin'. It's a telescope. You just put it to your you eye look, and look. Are you looking at the wrong end? Is it? This thing is like. Oh like no, that. no 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 no! My, my daughter's eight years old. It's that big. Oh right. Okay. It's like it's almost it's almost a Jack Sparrow. She, they, in oh, fact, Ashton okay. uses it as a he thinks it's a pirate telescope. Right. So Ashton's okay. using it as a pirate thing, and but no, Zahara prefers a microscope. Right. She's really into that at the moment. So she just turns it around. Ah, oh, very yeah, good. good. It was wow, quick. We should finish on. Yeah, yeah, we should finish on that joke. <laughs> Great one, um, Lyndon. Thank you very much. We've done. Pleasure. Thanks for that. Yeah, we've done a good time. So for a last minute walk-in guest. Yeah, thank that you. That was amazing. <laughs> we did. I'm I, a bit hungry now. I think I'm going <laughs> hypo. Yeah, no. Well, we can we can have some food now and we can relax. Um, thank you very much, Lyndon. Thank Phillips you very much. from Prime Real Estate Phuket. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you, you Jay. Um, no, you, that's Jay. my bit to say. You, thank well, you, Russell. Well, don't, you don't, no, you're not going to say thank you, Jay, because that'd be you talking to yourself. All right, no, thank nuts. you, Russell. Thank you, Jay. See you next week. We'll do, buddy. Bye. Bye.